ahead and learn how to refract. This is my patient, Lori. Lori has never worn any corrective lenses. She's about 2040 OD and about 2030 OS uncorrected. All right, Lori, I'm going to show you two lenses, and I want you to tell me which of these lenses makes the letters the sharpest and the clearest. I'm going to start by offering her sphere in half diopter increments, offering her more plus sphere first to relax her accommodation. I'm going to determine the most amount of plus or the least amount of minus sphere that she perceives to be clearest. Sharper and clearer with lens one or sharper with lens two? One. Lens three or lens four? Three. Okay, so I offered her more plus sphere and she rejected it, and I offered her more minus sphere and she rejected it. So I'm going to leave her at Plano. Now I'm going to see if she has any astigmatism. So I'm going to do what I call hunt for sill. So I Gonna, I'm just going to determine, does she have any cylinder power? And the way that I do this is I'm going to put in a half a diopter cylinder. And because I've given her a half a diopter cylinder, I need to subtract a quarter diopter of sphere here to maintain my spherical equivalent, my spherical equivalent to maintain that balance between the two. And so I've given her a half a diopter cell, and I'm simply going to uh, show her cylinder power at four different axes. I'm going to offer her sill at axis 90, axis 45, axis 180, and axis 135 until I see if she wants cylinder at any of these axes. So basically, I don't know if she has cylinder. I don't know if she, if she has cylinder, what axis is that? So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically say, do you want cylinder at axis 90 or you don't want cylinder at axis 90? If she has astigmatism somewhere around axis 90, she'll accept that cylinder at axis 90 and then we'll refine from there. If she rejects it, then I'm going to offer her at the next axis. So let's go ahead and see if she has any cylinder at or near 90. Which is sharper and clearer, lens 1 or lens 2? Two? 2. Okay, so she doesn't want cylinder at axis 90, so let's go hunt at axis 45. We're going to offer her cylinder there. Sharper with lens 1 or lens 2? Here's 1 or sharper with 2? One. Okay, so she doesn't want cylinder at axis 45. So let's see if she needs uh, any cylinder around axis 180. Sharper with one or sharper two? Two. Okay, so she does want some cylinder around axis 180. So I think her axis is somewhere around 180, but I don't know exactly where it is, and I don't know exactly how much cylinder power she needs. So I'm going to bring my Jackson cross cylinder into position. Now there's only two positions that the JCC will click into position at. It will either click into position so that my red and white dot are straddling the axis. See here's the axis, 180. Or it will click into position so that my red or white dot align with the axis. And so when we have it aligned with the axis, the dot aligned with the axis, we're checking cylinder power. If you notice here there's a P, that will remind you that when the P is aligned with the axis, you're checking cylinder power. When you are straddling the axis, in other words, the red and white dot are straddling the axis, you're checking axis. So first we're going to check axis, then we're going to check cylinder power. The reason that we need to check axis first is because if we're offering her cylinder power at the wrong axis, she's not going to accept the right amount of cylinder power she needs. So we have to determine her axis before we can determine the cylinder power. All right, Lori, which of these is sharpest, lens one or two? Lens one or two? One. Okay, so I'm going to turn it to the side she said was clearest, which is this one, and I'm going to chase the white dot. Okay, so here's my axis right here, and she chose this lens, and the white dot is this direction, which tells me that I need to turn this knob, turn my axis towards the white dot. I'm going to chase the white. If you work in plus cell, if you work in minus cell, you chase the red. I'm going to chase the white. All right, so I'm going to turn it 10 degrees towards my white dot. So now I'm at axis 170, and I'm going to do it again. Which is sharper and clearer, lens 1 or sharper with 2? 1. Okay. So she again chose the lens with the white dot on this side, so that means her axis is more this direction. So I'm now at axis 170, I'm going to turn it 10 more degrees towards the white dot, now I'm at, at axis 160. And I'm going to do it again. 
Which lens is sharpest and clearest, Lori? Lens one or two or about the same? One or two? Two. Two is clear. So when I was at axis 160, she wants to go back the other direction. When I was at axis 170, she wanted to go this way. Now she's at axis 160, she wants to go this way. So that tells me that my axis is somewhere between axis 170 and axis 160.